Hello, my name is Michael and I am a diabetes educator. Today I'm going to show you how to measure and inject one type of insulin using a bottle and syringe. Before administering insulin, it is always important to wash your hands with soap and water. Before I get started, I want to make sure that you have the correct supplies. The first item you need is the insulin. Do not start this process until you have clear instructions from your healthcare professional for taking your insulin. You need to know your exact prescription. Your prescription should include the type of insulin, the doses, and the specific time of day in which you are to be taking each prescribed dose. The second item you need is an unused, sterile insulin syringe. The last item you need is an alcohol wipe. Once you have the correct supplies and you have washed your hands, you can get started. For this demonstration, I am going to measure and inject 14 units. The first thing you need to do is take the alcohol wipe and sanitize the top of the insulin bottle. If the insulin that you are using is NPH or N-insulin, the second step is to take the bottle of insulin and roll it gently for about 10 seconds. As you can see, NPH insulin is cloudy in comparison to other types of insulin. Mixing NPH is a necessary step to ensure that the medication is evenly dispersed. Now, you can grab your sterile syringe and remove the covers from both ends. The next thing you are going to do is inject air into the bottle of insulin. The amount of air that you inject into the bottle is the same as the dose of insulin you will be taking out of the bottle. To do this, you need to pull the plunger on the syringe to your desired dose. In this case, I'm going to pull my plunger to 14 units. Then, poke the syringe into the top of the insulin bottle. Push the plunger all the way down so that the air goes into the bottle. Using two hands, turn the insulin bottle and the syringe upside down. Make sure that the syringe is still in the bottle. Pull the plunger down slightly and draw some insulin into the syringe. Then push the plunger and the insulin back into the bottle to remove any air bubbles. Now you can pull the plunger down to your exact dose of insulin. In my case, that is 14 units. Then, you can remove the needle. The stomach is the most common place to inject insulin. Just make sure to stay at least an inch away from your belly button. This picture shows the other places that you can inject insulin on your body. To perform this injection, you need to poke the syringe straight into your skin at a 90 degree angle. Once you have pushed the syringe into your skin, push the plunger all the way in to inject the insulin. Count to 10 before removing the syringe from your skin. Once you are finished with the injection, you need to dispose of your syringe properly. The safest option is to purchase a sharps container from a pharmacy and dispose of the sharps container properly after use. For more information on this, you can click the link in the description box of this video.